Hello and welcome to LFA's video on disassembling and reassembling the FACF tamping turret. This is mainly for cleaning purposes. We have a full video on changing the tooling for the FACF in the description below. The tools you will need for this are a 19mm spanner, a 17mm spanner, a 10mm spanner, a 5mm allen key. First loosen the bolt on the side of the top section pillar. This will allow you to raise the top part of the machine and you to remove the hopper. Once raised, retighten the bolt. Next undo the three bolts on the underside of the top section, which will allow you to remove the top hopper. We suggest two people to do this to ensure the hopper does not fall. We now need to remove the auger paddle so we're able to remove the hopper. To access the bolt to remove this, we need to remove the sides around the top section. Remove the two bolts at either side and then the top section should pull away. At the top of the auger paddle, there's a bolt. Undo this and take the weight of the auger filler. Remove it and place it to one side. Then rotate the top section so it's out of the way. You're then able to lift the hopper out of the machine. We suggest two people to do this. The next task we're doing is removing the sensor. Follow the cable down the center of the tamping turret and pull out the sensor and place it to one side. The next important step is to number the stations. This is to assist us when we're replacing our tooling. Take your spanner and remove the nuts and washers around the top section of the tamping turret. Next, we're going to remove the tamping tooling. This can be done in any order. Be very careful with the tips of the tamping tooling as they're fragile. Lay them down gently as to not damage them. Remove the middle casing and the outer casing and place them to one side. Next, we're going to be removing this section. On top is a 19mm bolt. Take a spanner and remove it. Next, lift the block up and out. Be very careful with the brass spacer as this is extremely important and set to an exact tolerance. Remove the two 90mm bolts at either side. You'll then be able to remove the whole middle section of the tamping turret. The next section down is secured with four bolts that are 10mm. Take your spanner and remove these. Lift this out and place it to one side. The bottom section of the tamping turret requires a special tool that comes with the FACF. Take this and remove the three 14mm bolts. You're then able to lift and remove this section. Whilst you're in this section of the machine, we suggest cleaning the inside out. Whilst the FACF does have a paddle that pushes out reject powder, if your powder is fine, it may stick around the edges. Also, it's advisable to check the wear around the brass ring. We suggest doing this for every one to two million capsules, especially if your powder is very coarse. Now we start building the tamping turret back up. Start with the bottom section of the tamping turret and reinsert the three bolts and tighten but leave room so they still play so we can still adjust it. When replacing the next plate, we need to ensure the sensor holder is in an outward facing position. Reinsert the 14 mm bolts. These can be tightened fully, but go around and tighten them equally in small increments. Next, replace the middle section. Make sure this hole is facing the main turret of the machine in position six. Now replace the two 90 mm bolts at either side of the middle section. These again can be fully tightened. Now we rotate the machine by hand so the tamping turret is at its lowest point in the cycle. Now take your alignment tools, place the alignment tools at either end of the station. Now adjust the bottom section until the alignment tools fall into place. 
ensure the alignment tools are loose and able to move freely. Now use the special tool that came with your FACF and tighten the bottom section. As always, do this in small increments and equally. Check the alignment tools periodically whilst doing this to ensure they're still moving freely. If you find the alignment tools are catching and rubbing, simply loosen the bolts at the bottom section, adjust and redo. Now we're replacing the block with our first tamping tool. Whilst doing this, we need to place our brass ring into position. Replace the 90mm bolt into the block and through the brass ring, and then tighten fully. Now replace the middle casing, which will just sit in the groove in the middle of the machine. You're then able to replace the outer casing. The section of the casing without a window needs to be in station 6 or facing towards the middle of the main turret. The other windows need to be facing stations through 1 to 5. Now we're replacing the tamping tools into the positions they were originally removed from. Whilst doing this, we need to ensure we're being careful with the tips of the tamping tools as they're fragile. Now we need to replace the washers and nuts on the very top section to secure the tamping tools into place. Tighten the 17mm nuts on top. These need to be tightened equally in small increments. Next, the sensor is placed back through the middle into the slot that was shown earlier. The hopper is lowered gently over the top, down through the center section, keeping the auger filler paddle inside the hopper. Now move the auger filler motor back over the top of the hopper. Lift the auger filler paddle out of the hopper and into position. Tighten the bolt at the top of the auger filler paddle. Raise the hopper into position and tighten the bolts to hold it into place. Replace the cover of the auger filler motor and replace the bolts at either side. Now we lower the auger filler motor and hopper back down into position. Partially undo the bolt on the auger filler pillar and gently lower, supporting the weight. Once in position, retighten the bolt. The next step will be tuning the weight of your capsules, which we cover in another video, which is in the description down below. For more information, products and guides, please visit www.lfacapsulefillers.com.